systems engineering. I've heard of it before. Uh, can I ask for help? She's <laughs> an engineer. Maybe. I, I, I'm not sure. But. Uh, I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good, seriously. No clue. The first thing that comes to mind is probably conversion of uh, waste materials into useful products. I think of a lot of interesting interdisciplinary um, applications. Well, engineering related to human body. For example, if you're making bones, artificial bones, materials used in it. Combines engineering and biological systems. It can be a really wide variety of things. We can't really pin down one one specific definition of it because it is so broad. Uh, I guess it's like agricultural engineering, biomedical engineering, um, has to do with biology. A mixture of dynamics and human interaction and human movement and a kind of harmony between them. I mean, you would use it for some good purposes. <laughs> you could be a farm, bio, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, maybe they, they design many things good for people, for humans, and that, that's all. Um, well, I think it's an engineering field where you work with the body and like different living things and trying to help them by making things easy for them. You're probably really smart if that's what you're pursuing. And that's what I know about bio. Well, biosystems engineering exists at the interface between biological and engineering systems. It is a field of engineering that applies engineering sciences and design to solve problems associated with biological, environmental, and agricultural uh, systems. Uh, it is the application of engineering in the field of biology or to the biological world. Engineering is all ap applied, it just happens that ours is usually applied to biological systems in the end. We need to use engineering principles and scales in biology to solve uh, problems in biological systems. Systems engineering is the application of engineering problem solving skills to the biological world and the problems that, are, uh, that involve living organisms. It's an agglomeration of a few specialties. It's engineering to do with anything living from agriculture and the environment to alternative buildings and medical devices for people. It's a very diverse field of study and it's far reaching applications. You get to sort of work on problems that are biologically related from different perspectives, from both a biological perspective and an engineering perspective. It's diversity in engineering, really. It's more broader than any path of engineering. You have a mechanical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering in one as well as system engineering. Two-way concept is absolutely interesting because, uh, you know, I don't I don't want to work as a, you know, uh, just as an engineer. I really, uh, I'm really interested, interested in uh, gaining some information about also biology. Biology, biosystem engineering, is it transcends the, the boundaries that we kind of construct that divide these disciplines and brings them together, so that you can work on a problem from multi, multiple angles, multiple perspectives. Biosystems engineering involves engineering and biology. Biology could be animals, plants, humans, or microbes. So, uh, providing solutions for systems that involve those four media. I would say that engineers are problem solvers, and when those problems involve a biological system, then a biosystems engineer is probably the person that you want to, to get involved. So, we cannot 
in a sense we cannot tell bio systems as a single sentence like it is dealing with this part it is a club club of it's a multidisciplinary field which involve all all the field under the under the sky and even though i am a biosystem student myself it's something that i'm still learning about um, something that i'm learning what's included in that every year a little bit more so i think I feel uh, immense pleasure that I am a part of this engineering branch.